Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Esteemed Gentleman Podcast for August 8th, Monday. I'm your host, Scott Labrie, and joined alongside <laughs> me, we have all day Eric DeShane. Hey, hello. How's it going today, Eric? Hot. Hot. She's warm. Yeah, I've, been really, I've kind of been downstairs the whole time, so I wasn't really... Uh, mm-hmm. No, uh, that much. I was at the farm today for a bit and went over last night for uh little cousin's grab party. So oh, yeah. we celebrated with that with him. Then spent the night at the farm with mom and dad's and then spent the day doing some stuff. And yeah, just but I was all outside the whole time and whew, she's a little toasty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They went out to her uh parents' lake lot there last night. They got mm-hmm. a a new camper. Nice. Nice and uh so is there a, a house, or is this just a lot? There's no, like, cabin, nothing else it's there? It's just a all? lot. They had, when they bought the lot, there was, um like, an Antco trailer on there, mm-hmm. but it was, like, totally gutted, so they just okay. made that their their shed, essentially, where they parked the lawnmower and all that stuff. And oh, okay. Then, and then we had our older camper there that they just parked there, and then and then now they've got a newer one, which is nice, a lot bigger, which is kind of mm-hmm. cool, and... And then, yeah, they did some other work there. They put some gravel down by the fire pit and stuff like that. And, like, uh-huh. and whoever owned this, this lot before them had, like, started put, like, making, like, this weird, like, tree fort around, like, in there. Okay. Yeah. One day you guys will come over. You don't see what I'm talking about. It was, like, yeah, yeah. really weird. I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. So, like, my parents, like, put, uh, and my little sister, I should say, put yeah. uh, tar- tarp over the some of it as well, so that way it's like a nice area to sit if it's raining out and that sort of thing. Oh, there so, you go. Yeah. Yeah, so it looked really oh. nice, and yeah, it was sat there, had some uh, cool. hot dogs and stuff, and all good. Cool. And of course, the night before, we were out uh Jermaine Lake. Jermaine Lake, yeah. And Tyler didn't make it back. <laughs> no, no, he's still there now. <laughs> he's still somewhere in the bush now. Yeah. He's... Camping with family, I guess, here, so. Lake hopping. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Yeah. That's why he's not here today, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, we and the show must go on. And we're going to do our uh, monthly recap because we, uh, just the way. We didn't do it last week, yeah. Yeah, so. probably would have yeah. done it Friday, but, uh, mm-hmm. again, apologize. We were camping. There's going to mm-hmm. be a lot of missed episodes in summer. I think it's summertime. In like, years to come. Cut us some slack, <laughs> right? We, it's, we're not going to miss an opportunity to go a while. It's finally nice outside. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, monthly recap. Uh, me and you, Eric, I know we both just watched uh, a hell of a documentary. A hell of a documentary recently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Trainwreck, Woodstock 99 on Netflix, three-part documentary. Mm-hmm. What you think about that? I was expecting like more uh, uh, three three episodes went by really fast. I was with like an usual like a six or seven mm-hmm. detailed series, something like the other ones. But I the whole story of what happened because I had no idea this even existed or this even happened. And uh, yeah, finding out about it, I'm like, oh geez, that's I had no idea this was a thing. And yeah, it's it was it's wild. It's a bunch of kids acting like savages, but <laughs> yeah. Treat treat people like animals. They're gonna behave like animals. Exactly, seems. exactly. It was a powder keg of, of accidents waiting to happen. But uh, I think it because like I saw a few uh, Reddit posts the day of release of of guys who who were there posting about it and everything else. And like it was the best and worst time of my life at that place because mm-hmm. the whole experience was awesome and terrifying because of how rowdy you got, especially on the last night. But, uh, but yeah, it's, I can see why if things probably would have been better, like better prepared or mm-hmm. better planned out, not then you, it says it a lot in documentary too, like they, like they cheaped out on a lot of things. And mm-hmm. that was a big, big cause of that was like, yeah, like the, no, hardly any sanitation, hardly any at all, uh, the cleanup crews, nothing to pick up the garbage or waste or nothing. So like the one part, it's like second day, second or third day. And like the the lineups were so long to the to the washrooms and everything else, they broke the pipes, water pipes going to it, and just had like a, just a giant water fountain in the middle of the whole thing going off, mm-hmm. and it was mixing in with the sewer itself from the outhouses. So they had like this giant pool in the middle of the whole compound that was like half water, half shit. Mm-hmm. And they were playing in the mud and everything else with, and oh, it was gross. But yeah, but that's what happens. There was no one to like. I, 
not that you won't take you want to take care of your guests. But people paid good money to go here, so it makes sense. But yeah, even just basic necessities that wasn't expensive and overpriced, and just they gouged you on. Like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. And also, like you know, they start from the top down. Like the two guys mm-hmm. were like. You know, it seemed like all they really cared about were were the artists showing up mm-hmm. and like that sort of thing. It's like, you know, any anything that you know, any complaint that got brought up to them, they were just basically like told to be quiet mm-hmm. about it and that sort of thing, right? So pretty much, yeah. Like uh, the one guy <laughs> who who spoke up a couple times, he's like, you know, your guys are getting a lot of aggressive artists and stuff like this for for your mm-hmm. peace and love Woodstock thing, and he's just like. I shouldn't have said anything or something like yeah. that. And then <laughs> same guy brings up later when they're do- going to hand out candles. Like, we're not approved by the fire marshal. They're like, shut up, get off the radio. Get off like, the radio, chain channel right now. Yeah, you're not involved in this. It's like, we, oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, yeah, right at the end, like, okay, well, now we'll bring up this message of gun control and gun violence because the whole shtick was, it was all in, in peace and love with Columbine just recently happening, mm-hmm. but none of it was represented at all through those three days. It was like yeah. the last... The last song on the last day, then it comes up, right? Like, oh my god, like, what a gong show. Mm-hmm. But, uh, or a train wreck, as it is called. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I kind of uh, like, yeah. when I was like watching it, I, was, like, I kept thinking about the the Fire Festival documentary, and I was like, yeah. oh, that, that, I remember watching that, and that was mm-hmm. insane. But the, this one yeah, was like on this a whole one, other like, level. <laughs> this one had great, this one was like, I wouldn't say as bad as it, not even close to Fire Festival. Fire Festival is own fucking mismatch and terrible mm-hmm. this was like no the the bones the everything was there except for the brains mm-hmm. there was no like yeah b- better management and better just things all around if they if they didn't care so much about making the money then it would have been a little better i mm-hmm. think but but the yeah. fact like this yeah like yeah like private private people private stores were the ones running it so like a bottle of water was four bucks back in 99 which probably like 20 bucks nowadays right like it's yeah. Like how how much they gouged you and everything else? Like how much how shit you were treated over there? Like yeah, no shit. Like and this big like peace and love and big uh, big uh, mellow out party in the middle of a freaking military base. Like like it m- makes sense space wise, yeah. but it's kind of like a mixed message there of what you're trying to promote and what's happening, right? So yeah, I don't know. It was just just so weird. <laughs> it's all weird, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bonkers. Yeah. Um, what else have you been watching? Uh, a show I just finished watching here. It's actually on a new season. It's actually on YouTube. I didn't realize it was a, a free show. It's a show called Hell of a Boss. Hmm? I forget the, the artist's name, but it's an animated, like adult animated show. And uh, it's essentially about this little little demon imp who is like in this off and on relationship with a, de- with a demon prince who gets his access to the human world so he can do his assassinations for customers it's really random and kooky it's a few voice actors i, re- I recognize and uh but the animation's awesome and it's a good show to watch so like this is a furry show that's the one i didn't know where that show was from but that there's a one character right I, who is this i have no idea who it is and there's the one woman yeah it's mm-hmm. like oh what the fuck yeah Okay. And that's where it's from, but like otherwise, it's I find it fucking hilarious. I was laughing my ass off at a lot of the jokes, but yeah, mm. yeah. But uh, the new season's out now. This has started here last Sunday. It's out every Sunday now for a few weeks, and oh, I I enjoyed it. <laughs> Next yeah, there's that one character, Luna, who's like, okay, who is this character? I don't know where she's from or what this is involved, but she's it's all over the internet. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. I'll figure it out. I'm like, oh, that's where this Luna's from and everyone's in love with her, I guess. I'm like, Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Definitely yeah. some, uh, mm-hmm. Some oh yeah. Vibes. It's, it's, <laughs> you can see that for sure. And they make fun of it too. The whole time. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. No, I, I highly recommend it. I was one. I wanted to recommend to Tyler and Collier cause I know they would like it too. If you like Vox Machina, it's the same kind of like that level of humor. Right. So, so. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Little, very dark comedy. Very funny. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. Yeah. No, and that was when I just finished watching, and then yeah, I was trying to think what the hell I watched this last month. But with my holidays and the way the week were, week, weeks were, everything kind of flew by. Um, started watching um, a show that came out a couple of years ago. I was hoping there'd be new, new seasons out, but haven't come out yet. Called uh, Dirty Money on Netflix. There's a few mm. like episodes, like ones about like the um, Volkswagens and their Knox, how they treated the Knox oh, okay. test. Ones like this. Um, uh, what the hell is it called? Um, 
payday loan scam this guy was running and i just as the one i just finished watching again i love it because like there's so much the guy has no level of irony because he essentially what happened was he cheated people out of this payday lending scam where they would rent out they'd borrow so much money but the in the, in the contract that was so well written and so jib and so like how it was worded people never really understood it so they wouldn't be paying unless they paid off the the loan in full they would be charged as a fee and thinking that what they were charged was going toward the loan was just a fee to keep the loan going they would like rack up these like high investments and everything mm. else for it. so so it was like well no well what we we're doing was legal it's all signed in the document they signed it well like well no you're tricking people to sign these loans that they didn't understand or properly understand what was going into it so like yeah it's, you're still an asshole but he's going through like how he's the victim how he, he's losing everything because of it it's like yeah this guy's a billionaire it's like oh like they're taking away his cars his repossession. like well yeah like you stole from people who were at the lowest of low and were going through the same thing of that and now it's happening to you well karma's a bitch man <laughs> like you just and you could not see you just couldn't see it i'm like ah oh, delicious right Idiot. that uh yeah. What's his name? Bernie Madoff? Is that who did, did that, or is that a different? No, guy? that's something like it though. That Madoff was that was back in the nineties or early two thousands. I want to say that was it. Was, that was like a what was that? That was a investment scam. That one, Bernie mm, Madoff. Gotcha. This one was oh yeah, it was all it was, a, it was a big time lender, but like wasn't as big. Scott it was mostly Tucker? This, that sounds right, Tucker. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's yeah, and I think it's like episode two or three. And there's one about um, like Wells Fargo and how they fucked up with their mortgages, and it's all like different ways, like different people have been screwing over the government. One's about um, the maple syrup industry in Quebec. Oh, how yeah. fucked up that is. Yeah, mm. that one's really interesting to watch. I had no idea how that one, but yeah, it, they're like, oh yeah, no, we have like this this storage facility of full of maple syrup we have for reserves and everything else. They go to grab it. And they're loading up empty drums. They can't figure out why. Well, yeah, people were fucking like draining drums and hauling them back for a premium overseas, and no one was catching them for years. And oh fuck, we are hmm. <laughs> someone's fucking us over. We don't know who. And yeah, it's this whole and how the the Quebec government is screwing over the the farmers about it. And, oh man, it's it's good. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Cool. No, I highly uh, recommend that show. Yeah, I'm very much a documentary kind of guy, so I don't yeah. really watch too many. Uh, shows per se but uh yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah i was looking for uh for a while i was looking for a good dog mary until finally mm-hmm. woodstock 99 it was like immediately mm-hmm. like it like propped up and mm-hmm. i was like yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I, gotta, oh, yeah. I gotta watch this one yeah <laughs> that's my kind of like shit where i love seeing like disasters and like mm-hmm. how did it go wrong well here's how it went fucking wrong <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah yeah like it's so mm-hmm. obvious that in hindsight now it's like why I fucked up and you're like in the time of the like oh yeah no this is fine this is fine and no it's mm-hmm. no. like this was supposed to be great but mm-hmm. it turned into a riot <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah um uh, I watched a couple things mm-hmm. um talked about them earlier in the month in the July there but watched everything everywhere all at once mm-hmm. on Amazon. Highly recommend it. That was a wild, wild movie, man. Like, uh-huh. there's no movie on the earth that's like that movie. I don't think it's no. It's pretty crazy. Cool. Makes you laugh. Makes you cry. Makes you <laughs> makes you feel things. Yeah, it's got good yeah. action. It's got everything. Uh, and then I also watched the Terminal List, which with Chris Pratt there. So oh yeah, soldier yeah. stuff, but. Uh, uh, that one got like ranked or like review like really low, like got like forty percent on uh, Rotten and, but Tomatoes. I've heard, but I've heard good things about that movie. Yeah, I don't. I, don't, yeah. I wouldn't say it's like uh like even some of the more like um, I wouldn't say hard edge, but like the more like uh, progressive reviewers I kind of watch too. But like, yeah, they said good things about it. like it was very much a a, a good movie. Yeah. Like, yeah, well, TV show, but uh, yeah, but oh, like, whatever. Sorry, yeah, TV yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting, kind of. Mm-hmm twist to it at the beginning that sort of thing Uh um that twist kind of gets solved like a few episodes in so then it's Uh but it turns into something else anyways no so i wouldn't say 40 percent, but maybe like a seven seven out of ten or something like that so Uh if you're into military shit it's worth the watch yeah 
Um, and then the other big thing, I literally just finished watching it yesterday. Mm-hmm. I binged watch all of The Sandman on Netflix, all ten episodes. Sandman. Yeah, it's a Neil Gaiman comic that they're that's what we talked about it last weekend. Yes, that's right. And uh, that show is freaking incredible. A plus, uh-huh. I give that show. Um, oh yeah, I keep seeing like little things about it on Reddit. Right, on uh, right, right, mm-hmm. right. Yes. Basically, uh, the synopsis. I don't want to like say too much because uh-huh. you know it's a it deals with the actual Sandman. The the King the of char- Dreams is the, the main character. character. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, the first the first episode there is uh, um, this this guy, this wizard, I guess, or something like that. And then about the first, I think it's around the First World War. Uh-huh. Um, his son dies, so he's like doing this like dark ritual to summon and trap death. The actual mm. personification of death to get his son back because his son died mm. in the war, but uh, he ends up instead trapping Dream uh, instead, and and then that causes a whole lot of shit. <laughs> no shit, that, that um, probably would, yeah. So that's 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 part of it. It kind of is actually like it's weird because like it's one season, but there's like two separate arcs in the whole in the season too. Mm. It's like. Half a season here and half a season there, but there's there is like a, a thread that goes through the whole season that kind of connects them all together, anyways. Okay. Um, but yeah, like really, really, really good. Like the mm-hmm. the imagery and stuff that show. I mean, because it's all dealing with dreams and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Looks crazy. Um, it's not like like crazy actiony, but like there are certain scenes where you know their conflict happens and the way it way it does happen is the uh. Because, like, how does a, a dream person, like a king of dream, take damage or something like that? Like, yeah, you know, exactly. It's like, so they do, like, a, a totally different type of way of fighting, essentially, which yeah. is kind of cool. And then, uh, yeah, there's a couple episodes that are just, like, soul-crushing, man. <laughs> like, <it's> like, <laughs> it's soul-crushing, but, like, also, like, beautiful in a, in a, mm-hmm. in a way as well. Like, yeah. Uh, Episode six. If you watch it, you're you're gonna know what I mean when you, when you watch that episode. Yeah, we talked about that on Friday, and I'm like, I didn't. And once I saw the photos, I'm like, oh yes, yeah, Sam, man, I who came in. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. Like I, I enjoyed it so much that I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna go read mm-hmm. the comics because mm-hmm. I just want to keep learning about this stuff. No, for sure. So, but the comics are so freaking expensive, man. Like that's how they get you. So expensive. Yeah. Like they have the. Mm-hmm. The big like, big big yeah, the, big the ones like say yeah. for for instance the the Walking Dead ones have those mm-hmm. and they're like the anthology ones where it's all in one yeah thing. they're yeah. like seventy to ninety bucks or something uh-huh. like that. Mm-hmm. The freaking the ones for the Sandman are hundred ninety five dollars each. Holy crap! Yeah, well, I mean like oh. they're like leather wrapped and like hardcover like mm-hmm. they're, they're nice books but like. If you just want the paperback like box set, that's like yeah, three hundred bucks. It's like geez, I spent. Fuck. I think I one of my well, not worst purchases. I love the fact that I have it. I bought a limited edition of uh, the Dark Knight Returns, the Frank Miller uh, Batman mm-hmm. at, at the expo years ago with Cameron, and I think I spent like two hundred bucks on it. But I love it still. It's still like a awesome, like uh, awesome collector for sure. I love it a lot. So. But it was expensive. I'm like, oh, but it's a limited collector's. I'm like, oh, I'll spend it on something. I wanted, I love this series, right? So, and I just watched the, cause I, I knew of it, but I never liked his art style too much. But then I watched the Ammon version of those stories. I'm like, I like this. So I wanted, that made me want to buy it. The comic version of, of the Frank Miller story. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, it was good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember my sister boyfriend was a big fan of the Sandman, the comics. Mm-hmm. I think he lent me the first, uh, first book. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't get into it because like the art is like art's out there, yeah. Really see, crazy, yeah, but that's that's uh, that's a style though, right? But I yeah, uh, it's mm-hmm. so no. Yeah. Go watch the Sandman if you're into uh-huh. fantasy stuff. A plus. Mm-hmm. Highly recommend it. Play any games? Uh, not really. No, no, no. I uh, in July, so this last month here in July, I. Finally, I think when I talked about it, I think 
finally was able to run my campaign I've been running for a while with my nephews for D and D. Oh yeah. And so that was like the week I was off there. We did like a four hour session, like five nights in a row. So it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot at once there, but we finally were able to do one and now we're planning to do one probably around Christmas time or more in the fall, but right now we're just pre gaming to prep and what characters wanna they want to play now in this time and everything else and so a lot of that just like prepping and reading and understanding rules and what, what we're setting we're playing at so that's mostly mm. my thing so and gaming wise that'd be probably it like we didn't, didn't do many of it at all i think i played skyrim a little bit again here and there to kind of get my fantasy itch mm-hmm. and uh he like okay all this if i have time i'll finish fallout i'll finish fallout still haven't fucking booted it up months i still haven't wrapped that damn game i think i have like 150 hours in <laughs> jeez <laughs> Just, That's yeah. Fallout 4, right? Fallout 4, yeah. 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 Hmm. yeah, I should finish that sometime finally and just experience that. But yeah, just right now I'm occupied with other things at the moment. So gaming right now, not so much. Nice. Yeah. And you? Yeah, and I played, I talked about it a little bit, but Shadow mm-hmm. of War, Middle Earth Shadow uh-huh. of War. Uh, I'm in the middle of taking a, I'm taking a break from that right now because I'm also uh-huh. I went back to WWE 2K22 trying to uh-huh. get these wrestling videos done that yeah should have been done like a month ago, yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, but Shadow War that's been that's been fun. I mean it's it's uh-huh. a Assassin's Creed mixed with Batman uh-huh. mixed with uh, Lord of the Rings. So speaking of that, did you see the trailer for the new Lord of the Rings at all by chance? Yes. I'm yeah, afraid. I've heard some. Uh, I'm excited for it, but a lot of the character choices, I'm like, oh, this is, that's that's Mulgar. That's no, 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 sorry, that's um, what the hell is the being bad guy? Oh, Sauron. Sauron. Yeah, Sauron. Like that's the character for Sauron. Oh, that's not at all what I was expecting. Okay, but he's in right. his, he's in his beautiful form. Sure, he's an he's an uh, he was an angel before he was a bad guy. You he know? was a he's the same level as Gandalf. Uh, mm-hmm. The Maiar. Mm-hmm. There's there's like three different levels, yeah, and so he's uh, that's what he is, right? That's mm-hmm. that's Trubius power level, right? But yeah, just like oh, that's not what I thought, not what I was expecting. Yeah, but yeah, whatever. Looking forward, yeah. I am looking forward to it. This Me forward. too. Yeah, that comes uh September second. Soonish, yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. that will be good. I think. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you really care, but. Was it that House of Dragon? Doesn't that start this month too? That is is it not out already. I uh, I I I'm on the Free Folk Reddit and they're just bashing it already. I'm like I'm still not gonna watch it. Like August I don't 21st. care. First, like you're you're five years too late, guys. What the fuck? Like come on, like uh just I don't know. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, like I have no desire. Like I don't know. Like I would rather play. I would rather rather play Elden Ring than. And learn more of the of the <laughs> of Game of Thrones of Game of Thrones lore. Like I don't care. Yeah. It's gonna be one of those things where it's like, if the reviews are all good and a lot of people are like, yeah, this was actually a really good show. I'll then I'll wait till after all the first season's done. Watch yeah. the season all at once, and I'm not gonna follow it. I'm not. I'm, I'm not excited for it. Yeah. The Targaryens, woohoo! Like, I don't know. Yeah. But it's Doctor Who guy. I don't know. I forget what his name is. <laughs> Not David Tennant, the other one. Yeah, we're gonna say Sam Smith, but that's that's the that's a singer. That's yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> no, I don't. Know, just season eight left a sour taste in my mouth, and I'm just not like anxious mm-hmm. for any of it. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Mm-hmm. Though I am kind of maybe excited a little bit for that Jon Snow one, because then it's like. Yeah, well, that too. The, now there's now there's something different, right? Because mm-hmm. everyone's signed up for the Winds of Winter. And I'm like, well, unless, unless George R. R. Martin like truly retcons everything, like we know how it's going to end. So mm-hmm. why do you are you excited for a book that's he's probably never going to finish? So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way he ends it the same way as the show after. That that back um, Yeah. Right. I would I would like to see him like no this is my this is my way of ending and it's totally different I'd be okay with that yeah but that's still like three bucks two or three bucks from where he's at I think right so I don't know I just like I what I think probably happened was uh the two writers were like well George or getting the end like how, 
what did you envision the ending was going to be? Yeah. Like, hmm, I, I always thought it was going to be uh, Daenerys goes crazy and uh, Bran ends up on the throne. It's like, okay, cool. That's, okay, cool. That's a little out there. We'll, we'll, we'll do it, though, because this, this is your show. <laughs> but was, and then they're, they're, they keep going, they keep going, they keep going. It's like, oh, that's what he wanted. We're not even close to that. Well, then let's fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> flare out from where that and go back to it. It's like, oh, fuck. Right. Yeah, let's let's end the last three episodes with some weird shit, and now we're at where he wanted it. I'm like, oh yeah, but yeah, it wasn't earned, wasn't justified, but whatever. Oh, Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. How, well, the mighty, how the mighty have fallen. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Always take an opportunity to dance on the grave of the Game mm-hmm. of Thrones. <laughs> oh, never, never waste the opportunity for that. You gotta, you gotta acknowledge that they fucked up. So it's, oh, yeah. he's got to. Like it's yeah. Like you had the world by the short and curlies, and you fucked it up. Mm-hmm. Like how? Ah, just. Ah. Yeah, pretty brutal. Uh-huh. Anywho, any uh final thoughts? Anything you're looking forward to in the month of August? Mm, entertainment wise, I thought, I thought for sure, I thought um. Uh, she huckles out in August, but it's not till November, I think, right? Uh, I don't know what's coming out in August. What is it? I mean, it is not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at movies here that are also the new know. Groot movie. Oh, uh, yeah, those are just, I think, shorts or yeah, whatever. shorts, yeah. yeah. Okay, no, she is outside the seventeenth Disney Plus. Yeah, so I'm just more curious to see where they're gonna go with other side characters because you see Daredevil, so yay. Right. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. No. Um. Yeah. No. When's the new season of um? Uh, what the hell's the soccer one? Ted Lasso. No, I don't know. Ted. Is it this year or is that next year? Season. What are they on? Season three. Yeah, be season three. Uh, ten last of season three. I wish you like just tell me Google. I know. Uh, probably December, Christmas time. October, it says maybe. Okay, maybe yeah. This one's nothing... just like speculating. Ah, whatever. Nothing coming out. October now. maybe. Yeah. A new Walking Dead show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blech. Yeah. All no, right. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'll keep my eye for anything interesting, but really, yeah. You now, nah, August is going to be a month of I got to worry about right now. Other stuff to organize come September. So right now, we'll we'll talk about that when that happens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but yeah. Here we go. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, uh, that's going to do it for today's podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, if you're watching on um, YouTube, like and subscribe and uh, comment on the video, share with a friend. And uh, if you're listening on a podcast service, leave us a rating, uh, subscribe as well. Then head over to our Facebook page, like the page. You can submit a question for our Ask Us Anything episode. And uh-huh. uh, we're still figuring out what to watch for a movie. Uh-huh. Yeah, to, yeah that's right. Soon-ish, yep. Coming up fast. Yep. Yep. We'll, let you, we'll let you know what happens. Yep. I have an idea, but. We'll float mm-hmm. by you guys. Mm-hmm. All right. We'll talk to you later. Have a great day. See you Wednesday. Bye bye. See you guys.